and welcome to Vegas Aces Q&A. I'm your host, Heather Ferris, and on today's Blackjack episode, I'm going to teach you about 6 to 5. Hey, I didn't say 65. Oh, come on now. Now you're just being hopeful. <laughs> That's better. Although, these numbers will bite you in the ass, too. So I have two questions today. One came from a player and he said, what does six to five mean? Is it bad? I had another question from a dealer who said, any tips or techniques for how to pay a six to five blackjack? I'll go over the player's question first and then I'll explain how to pay a six to five for the dealers who are out there. When a player gets a blackjack, they'll immediately be paid even money plus a bonus. That bonus is also known as 3 to 2, and this term typically describes the odds that the player is paid when gaining a blackjack. Normally, the bonus is half of whatever the player's original wager was, or if you take the entire wager and multiply it by one and a half times, then you can compute a blackjack payoff. 6 to 5 is pretty much the same thing. It describes the odds the player receives when they get a blackjack. So if they're pretty much the same thing, then what's the big deal? Well, six to five pays less than three to two for exactly the same thing. And this is the reason why six to five is considered bad. For example, if you have a $25 wager and you get a blackjack, then on a three to two table, you would get paid $37 and 50 cents. However, on a six to five table, you would only get paid $30 for exactly the same thing. You would lose $7.50 because you were sitting on a six to five table versus a three to two table. That's why people will tell you to never sit on a six to five table, only sit on a three to two table. Unfortunately, it's true that you'll be seeing a lot more six to five tables on the strip because you know, casinos are obsessed with greed and they feel that they can make more money off of uninformed players. And this 6 to 5 phenomenon isn't just on a single or double deck. It's starting to infiltrate the shoe games as well. You'll be able to tell what type of table it is due to the markings on the table or the sign next to the table minimum or maximum sign. If you don't see the odds anywhere on the table, then you can always ask your dealer if blackjack pays 3 to 2 or 6 to 5 before sitting down at the table. The only way players can tell casinos that 6 to 5 is not okay is if players never play on those games. If the game isn't making any money, then they'll eventually take it out. Now, for the dealer's portion of this answer. A 6 to 5 payout is easier than you think. Instead of focusing on the dollar amount and the odds, which can confuse anyone, focus instead on the units and how much they pay. In order to do this, you'll need to memorize the payouts for the four most commonly used units. If the player has a $5 blackjack, then pay him even money plus $1. Every $5 gets paid an extra $1. Or, in other words, a $5 blackjack gets paid $6. A $25 chip will get paid even money plus $5, also known as $30. And a $100 chip will get paid even money plus $20, or a total of $120. Dollar chips are the easiest since breakage applies. Since the casino can't pay six to five on a dollar, all dollars are paid even money only. If you pay to the units instead of to the dollar amount, you'll have a lot easier time figuring out the payouts. For example, if a player has a $45 blackjack that pays six to five, what do you do? Take a deep breath and remember to pay in units. So first we'll pay the bet even money. Second, we'll break down the bet and pay the units the bonus amount. So we know that a $25 chip pays $5, and we know that four $5 chips will pay $4. So we add an additional $9 to the payout and we just successfully paid a blackjack bet, six to five with very little effort. We'll go over more practice hands at the end of the video. Stay tuned if you wanna test your skills or depending on what you're testing lack thereof. 
that does it for today's show. I'd love to hear from you guys. What's your opinion on the six to five blackjack tables? Tell me about your experiences in the comments section below. Do you have an idea or a product that you want to promote? What better way to do that than with a video? I can easily create that video for you. Just email me at heather at vegas-aces.com to begin. If you like this video and you want to help keep our content free for everyone, then become a Patreon patron. We have several different levels and rewards that you can choose from. And by supporting Vegas Aces, you'll also be supporting free education. And you'll be helping people all around the world get a job and provide for their families. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Remember to subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so that way you'll always be notified of the latest videos and live streams. As always, thanks for watching.
Thank you.